what's going on guys cricket pine jr here uh gina's not here she's at work i'm out looking for some work and i couldn't forget to stop by and say happy birthday to somebody very special to me um so that's where i'm at now i'm at the cemetery i'm here to tell her happy birthday and then i miss her and i love her but I got to thinking about some memories on her birthdays. And it's kind of hard to remember all the cool things that happened. But I do remember... <laughs> I do remember one birthday when we had a birthday party for her. I think my Aunt Donna had it at her park. Years and years ago. I was, I was still young. But I, re I specifically remember they had them things where you blow on them and the thing rolls out like a party blow your thingy and then do the Rrr. <laughs> I remember my mama picking one up and I don't know if one of us kids told her to or not but I remember her picking one up and she went to blow it and as it unrolled it flew out her mouth <laughs> and it freaked her out she was she was laughing and <laughs> she just kind of she had a tendency to hold herself like she was about to pee herself when she laughed. And, and memories like that, man, it's just, I keep looking back at them and I see them and wish those days were still here. My mama did a lot as far as raising the kids and all that. She was a hardworking mom. Um, she was mostly a stay at home mom while my grandfather went out and worked. Um, and this is just stuff that I've been told by family or um, some stuff that I remember. Uh, but I remember my grandmother ran a park uh, for many years and she would get out there and bust her ass every day to make sure that everybody had the bills paid or everybody, she would she'd walk that park and deliver mail and, and she'd bust her ass. She was a hard worker plus she took care of the homestead. So, for her as a person, was one of the most amazing people I knew. And she was one of those types where you could just sit down and talk. and um, She'd talk for hours to teach you something. Um, her and my wife became real good friends. Uh, they would sit and do crossword puzzles together. Um, they would sit and talk or... Um, she called Gina her genie. Um, she uh, and she she really liked Gina. Now my girlfriend's before that, she would she would straight up and say, she's a lot like my mom really. She would straight up come out and say, um, "Who's that huzzy?" Uh, she loved that huzzy word. She she'd tell him, "Who's that huzzy?" So it was it was really funny to hear her talk about them, but if she didn't like them. <laughs> you wouldn't get nowhere. If Mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. But she did like Gina. She loved Gina very much. Um, but I'm here today. I'm gonna go say hi. I'm gonna go tell her I love her and um, spend a few minutes with her before I have to head to Lakeland. So. You guys hang tight. I'll be back with you in a second. Hi right, guys, I'm back. I'm headed over there now. I'm gonna go say hi to her and spend a little time with her here. I tell you, man, 1934 she was born. She passed away in 2006. Me and my wife got married in 2005, so we got that year with her um, together. Um, but yeah, man, there she is, I heard something, so I'm going to sit here, people going to look at me weird, but I'm going to sit here, that sun is bright, and I'm going to sing to my memo. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Memo. Happy birthday to you. Hope you get some too. Alright, I'll stop. Oh, my big ass up. There she is, man. She was a uh, she was a lot of people's everything, man. She was she was awesome. And that man over there, where's he at? Right there. He was a lot of people's everything too. Oh, uh, well, Memo, I know you can't smile at me in here. I, I think you're smiling at me, but. Not being here in person kills me. The sun's a bad direction, guys. I just want to tell you I love you. Happy birthday in heaven. I hope you guys are partying it up. Hope you're having a good time. Hope the good Lord got you a good little place up there. Hope you ain't... There, there ain't no trailer parks in heaven, are there? You ain't got to walk around and take care of those, do you? I think those days are over. I love you. I care well for you. And God, do I wish both of you were still here. Especially in the hard times, man. You're the ones I could go to go to talk to and tell you problems. And it's like you had a had a fix for it every time. I remember back whenever I was in trouble and I stand in front of the judge and I prayed to God that they weren't going to send me away for a long time. I remember I looked up and I said, Mama, I said, I need you right now. <laughs> I need you to look over me. So I need you right now. I need you by my side. And she was, man. They sent me home. She was. I, I believe to this day, she was the life that she was the one to save my ass. I love you, Mama. Happy birthday. She was the one, man. She was the one that changed so many lives in our family. Such great people, man, and it's just a shame that they take them so quick. It's a shame that they it's weird how the good Lord chooses which ones he wants to take. And it always happens to be the best ones, man. I just I wish I saw One More Day by Diamond Rio. I think about that every time. Whenever I see a family member that Anybody that you really love, you really care, you just want that one more, one more day, one more, one more day to spend with them, and just to do the things you used to do with them. You know, I look out there and I just. I picture her, <laughs> man, I picture her standing up, looking at me and telling me to quit that sobbing. <laughs> yeah, you better quit that shit. <laughs> can't, man. Just can't. <laughs> it's... I don't care what anybody says. It's something, something you never get over. Everybody says it gets easier. Yeah, when you're not thinking about it, yeah, it might seem easier. But as soon as they cross your mind, it's not easy anymore. It's, it's real. When you realize you'll never see them again on this earth, it takes your heart and just turns it. And 
I know one day I'll have to face that day with my parents. And I can't imagine it. I can't imagine not being able to see my parents ever again. So to you guys, my aunts and uncles, I know this is hard. And I can't see how you guys do it. But I know that on the outside, you guys try to have strength and show everybody strength. But I would imagine, and I'm sure it's the case, when it comes down to thinking about them, you're not healed. It still eats at you. And imagine the time when Imagine the time come where mama and daddy go. I don't want to see that day. I don't want to see the day where I got to bury my mama and daddy. But I know eventually I'll have to. And I, I don't know how I'm going to bear with it. My mama and papa were a lot like a mom and dad to me. Papa was the one that pretty much took the place of teaching me things and showing me what life was all about until my stepdad, which is my dad, came into the picture. And he raised me just, you know, he just taught me like he would his own son. He treated me like he would his own son. And my mama, anytime we were there, she was, she spoiled the shit out of us. I remember she... I remember she ate a lot of graham crackers and we used to try to <laughs> we try stealing from her and she'd, she'd tell us we'll get you some graham crackers got almost some peanut butter we'll put some peanut butter on some graham crackers and we'd sit there and eat them she'd come over there and eat them with us we'd watch movies or go outside work in the yard a lot of good memories with that woman so I know Mamaw's watching over me right now. And she's watching me do what I'm doing right now. I don't know if she has YouTube in heaven. But just know that this whole family thinks about you. This whole family still loves you. We didn't forget about you and we never ever will. I just hope you're having a happy birthday up there. I hope you're sitting there and just same with your mom and daddy and just having fun. I can see her up there with a birthday hat. <laughs> Have one of them blowy things in her mouth and spit it back out. It's rough, guys. I know we all miss her. For my family that's watching this, we all miss her. And for people that don't know me and are watching this don't ever try to forget your loved ones I mean I know nobody really does that but always remember the good times because I try to forget those last times I seen her because she looked so rough she looked like she was in pain and I try to forget those times and I remember the times when we had fun and out doing stuff and just spending time together. I remember the good times. And I know that's in heaven. That's what she's, she's healthy. She's good. She's all right. She has my papa all there. And if they let firearms in heaven, there ain't nobody messing with her. Because he will, he will lay that pistol right on the golden table or whatever it is and say, I dare you to come through and mess with my wife. He loved her like crazy, man. Anyway, guys, that's my video for today. I know it's not very entertaining, but I wanted to share my day with my memo. Um, I love you, memo. You're everything to us. We'll never forget you. And yes, I'm going to do it. 
I done told y'all about this, but I gotta do it. My memo loved when I did this. It's it's goofy as shit. Yeah, girl. Oh rock your world. <laughs> she loved that. <laughs> she loved when I did that. She said she'd always call me duck lips and she had that thing for back on In Loving Color, a show a while back ago. It was Wanda, and Wanda would come on there and say, I'm going to rock your world, and Memo would die on laughing. It made her smile. And y'all know how I am about, about making people smile. I just want to see them smile. Anyway, drying my eyes. Got to go to a job in Lakeland. Oh, Got to get straight. Got to shit. Got to get to work. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, favorite, hit the bell. I'm going to be posting some more videos. Um, I've got some backed up that I haven't put on yet. Um, I just haven't got them edited yet. But I'm going to get them on. I hope you like them. We'll see you guys on the next time, next trip. This could be in a blooper reel. We'll see you guys next time. It's Crooked Pine. I'm out.